Uh, good day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and footy season is only around less than 10 days away now so yeah, best time of the year when the footy season is back and all, all the stuff happens, footy cards come out, season starts, got fantasy back, yeah and I am on fan AFL Fantasy today on the um, AFL app to pick my team and um, hopefully give you guys, hopefully this guy, this helps you guys to pick a team and I, uh, it's not really a tutorial, it's just me going through my team but hopefully you guys can sort of try and pick similar to me but hopefully not <laughs> but yeah, the technique to this is definitely trying to pick some of the guys that were out for most of the year last year. I did have Guthrie in mind but not not anymore since he did uh, get injured, which, yeah, the quad does at least 12 weeks, they reckon, but I'll start off with the Ruckman. It's always good to get the Ruckman out of the way. So, I'll, actually, I'll, yeah, I'll pick, actually, I'll start off with the, uh, I want English, but I also want to try and pick Grundy because mainly because he's cheap. But I'll start off mainly with some of the, the midfielders. You always want to get expensive ones, but you also want to get low ones that, that will develop eventually. And you can select positions. I'll start off with the midfield. I'm going to start off picking someone like... You can't pick Doherty, but I'm going to pick Doherty down back. And load more. There's heaps of options to choose from. But I'm going to start off by picking a man that I've got full belief in. And his name is Jai Clark. I've got full belief in him. And I'm definitely going to chuck him in. I've got full belief in the young man. And um, yeah, no doubt I, I've got him there. I'm also going to pick up Zach Butters. I reckon he is going to go and have a good season again. And as you see there, he's 8.98. And as you can have a look at the budget, we've got 15 million to choose from. Jai Clark was 237, so not not ideal, but you got to get a big name player in there. Now, if we move down back, the defenders, someone like Doherty, Dacos, but I reckon Doherty is definitely a good pick. But Doherty, Doherty's been put as a midfielder this year. Okay, that's surprising actually. Well, I'm going to have a look at the midfield of the defenders. So we've got Dacos, Sicily, Sinclair, Ryan, Newman, Sheasel, Stewart, of course. Sheasel's an expensive one this year, 878. Whitfield, Houston, Short, Duncan, defender. Brayshaw, of course, there, but he's just retired, which you definitely got to feel for him, but... Yeah, there's lots to choose from. Noble, I Noble would be an interesting pick actually. Rioli is definitely a good pick. With all these guys down here that definitely are gonna be good. But I'm gonna start by picking Harry Perryman. I've got full belief in him that he will have a good season this year, especially how he's sort of a midfielder that does play up forward a bit. Another one is Connor Iden. He does rack up the big touches. And of course I will pick James Sicily, he does get the marks. And I'm going to move up forward next. Um, forwards, not rock. There we go. Sam Flanders is one that... Please look at this, you'd like to recruit Sam Flanders to. I'll chuck him in as a forward. I, or I'll chuck him as a midfielder. I'll move him as a midfielder, actually. So, how do I do this? Easy. Oops. I'll just get rid of him. How do I? I haven't. It's been a while since I've used fantasy. But where's Flanders? Where's Flanders? Chuck him in as a midfielder, mainly because I do want to fill out that midfielder position, but forwards now. 
I will pick someone like El Gordon up forward. If he is listed as a forward. Is he, don't tell me he's a midfielder this year. He is a midfielder. Fire, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> Gordon was a hack last year. He was such a good one to pick. Caleb Daniel is a forward. Okay, interesting. Toby Green, Darcy Moore, Kuno, Bolton, Zorko, Jackson was a good pick. Jezza, Ben Keys is one that I'm definitely going to pick up forward. Myers is also another one. That will be good. Bradley Hill, I'm oh, not sure about that. Alright. Who else could I pick up forward? This guy that I had in mind, but I forgot who. Kay Chandler. Here's one that I reckon that can really pick up his game. Throughout the year, but I could move him to interchange bench if I wanted, but I'm just going to chuck him up forward for now. Another one on my list is Shane McAdam. But that I'll pick him up if... Depends if I have enough space left. Stingle's cheap. Stingle's cheap, surprisingly. Stevenson, you've got Callum Brown, Tilthorpe, Elijah Sussis. It's one that I want to pick up. I'll recruit him as a midfielder. Alright, I'll go back to the midfielding position. So we've got 9 million left. Interchange bench, we... Interchange bench is really just the young guys that you want to develop. And then hopefully put them in throughout the year. But a midfielder that you have to pick up. And of course going to be Harley Reid. He is for a bargain. 300,000. Definitely get Harley Reid when you can. And I'll suck him in as a, as a midfielder. I don't want to get a couple of key forwards like Kuno. But I'm definitely going to chuck Reid in as a, a midfielder for now. Another one is Dersma. Hopefully he... Durham. Jersma is, is he listed as a forward? Let's check in Xavier. Xavier Dersma. 598. Uh, I do want to get another good midfielder. So I will I do want to have enough money left over though for good Ruckman. I'm gonna go Ruckman next. But midfielder, he's expensive, but he is a machine. And that's Errol Gordon. I might get rid of Butters if it does come down to that, but next I'm going to pick a Ruckman. And of course, I want to win, and I'm going to pick Tim English. I've got full belief in him, that he can have another good year. I'm going to pick one more good forward, one more good defender, and then go for a couple of the guys that I reckon will increase in value. Bailey Smith, of course, will not be playing this year due to his ACL injury. Jai Colwell is a bit expensive, to be completely honest. Kyle Laneford, Gresham, maybe. Finlayson. Finlayson's one that is a 50-50, sort of. Pinsky, Baker, Fisher. I've got belief in Fisher, but I'm not sure. Don't want to regret a decision at all. Bedford. Not sure about him. Silvani's out for the year. Hawkins, Frisch, Murphy, Lynch, Cottrell, Stringer, Pell Pepper. It's a tough pick, but I'm going to have to go with Darcy Burn Jones. I reckon he can increase his value and could turn into potentially picking up someone like Dustin Martin later on in the year. Caleb Daniel. Down back. This is a tough one. But you have to have Nick Dacos in the squad. I'll put him in as a defender. So I've got 5 million left. Ruckman, backup Ruckman, not too important. Basically just having someone there later on in the year. But I'm picking up, I'm going to pick up Toby Conway. Nope. Ruckman. Fair if he's not a Ruckman, is he? Yeah. Where's Conway? I want to pick up Toby Conway. 
Do I believe that he can get game time this year? Conway. There you go. He's only 316, so. Also, another one I want to pick up is Brandon Parfit. He's another one that I also... I know I'm getting a few John players, but mainly because guys like Clark and Conway will be playing this year. It's for Jalon, and mainly because I know that I do support Jalon, I know that they will be playing. Another one is Manor. Manor. Sean Manor. How could I forget Sean Manor? 200,000. That is lucky. I remembered Sean Manor. Put him in as a forward. So we've got 4 million left. If I want you, I can buy one more good player. But I'm going to use Smart here. Midfield. Parfit. Parfit is 673,000. Holmes is not listed. See, the, where are they listing Max Holmes? Midfielder, surely. Where are they listing Max Holmes? Max Holmes, there we go. 685. Is he, this is a forward. Playing forward, not. Nah. Max King, no. Max Holmes. I want, do you want to get one more good midfielder though? Because then I can work on the bench and or one midfielder or defender. Someone that can play. Sinclair, maybe. I'm going to go with Harry Sheasel. Play him down back. And midfielder. I'll pick the bench first, and then i see how much money I've got left. A good bench player is someone that's cheap, and that you know that can, that will, will be good. <laughs> of course, these guys aren't going to really be good. James Blank's out for the year, so you won't pick him. Madden. Dawson. Lucian Mullen. Might play, might play. Connor O'Sullivan. I'm going to chuck him in because I reckon he could get a go. But actually, I'm going to try to switch him to the bench. <laughs> I'll chuck O'Sullivan in as my final roster spot. As forwards, I'll finish this off first. Cadman. Cadman's a tricky one because he could be really good, but I'm not going to use him. MC could get a go, a go this year. Kruger, I doubt it. Fullerton, maybe. Rioli, Fantasia would be handy. Brushed out for the year. Oh, he, he, his value will go down by the time. Dersma, depends. Depends if he plays or not. Do you want forward? So, what, two more midfield spots available. Garcia. Corbett, Ollie Lord, Harrison Jones, I might actually pick him, I reckon he can, he could be my final, final spot, Andrew Gaff, I'll start, this is lowest price, jeez, Hoskin Elliott, Paddy, I reckon I'm going to pick Paddy Dow, and last but not least, how much money have I got left? Two million. O'Connor. Oh, ah, I'm not really. Durham could. Chewy. I'm gonna. Why not? Zach Chewy. Although they might rest him a few games. I'm not gonna. If I if that decision cost me. I was like coming. I can. Play him as a midfielder. Uh, so I've got two million left. For bench spots. Uh, Sullivan could potentially get pushed to the bench if I have to. The Conan doesn't really get fantasy points. Henry Cole, Jasney, Frost, Leah, Thompson, Bergwin, Petty. Petty sometimes actually does deliver. Should I pick Petty? 
Which might need to change. Well, I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with Todd Goldstein. Actually, no, nah, he won't be playing at all. Mark Wissel, seven hundred thousand on the bench. You want? You want to pick guys that you know? Or you playing as much? So. So you need, oh, so you need one interchange from each position, I think. So, interchange. Chloe C won't be playing at all. Constant T, Phoenix Foster. I want to try and pick someone that got picked up in the draft. Or well, West Coast player that will be playing. Like, you know, will be playing. Was Chris and Tini doing an Essendon? <laughs> he must have gotten traded for Zerk Thatcher. I think he did, didn't he? What about that? Murdoch won't be playing. Pink could be. Hmm, I'm still not sure who I should pick up. Chris Burgess. Don't want to pick him because I no, I'm never get that. McMullen Warner. Laurie. Who the Bailey Laurie guy? And then Chris Gold. Ah, I'm not gonna get I reckon Charlie Spargo off the bench. Could develop into a pretty decent player. Now I've still got 1.63 million. Samson Ryan, another one that. No, I'm not gonna pick. I'm not gonna pick big. I'm gonna pick midfield so that could actually do well. Price is just going up, isn't it? Tajway Woden. I'm gonna pick him. And then you know, I need a Ruckman. Reese down. I'm gonna pick one that could actually get a go. Potentially, yeah. Now Vicentini's at Port Adelaide. Wasn't he just wearing a must have been a different Vicentini, sure. Who do I pick? I could pick big Joe Furphy. Yeah, it's a different Vicentini. Must be his brother. Oh, I don't want to pick it too expensive. Oh, that's my last. Defender for the interchange. Oh, who do I pick? <laughs> Josh Fahim. I'll, I'll pick Dersma. And I'll pick McCurcher. They'll get goes. And then last but not least, Ivan Soldo. I've got 93,000 left. Alright, I can't pick a Van Soldo. Sure. Mainly because he's too expensive. But he will be the number one option though. At West, at, uh, West Coast. He plays for West Coast, doesn't he? Right, I've got belief in Conway. I'll pick Club One. I'll pick someone like. Some of them might actually get a go though. Kruger. Why not? Even my utility players. How much have I got left? I've got four ninety nine, so I can spend at least two and a half two and a half on each. Two fifty on each. James Blanks out for most of the year. Oyston Mullen. I can get one good Gib Kiss. I'll pick Gib Kiss because he's going to be back this year and he's going to be good. And my last pick. Can't afford them. One that I can afford. Do it in a. Uh, with someone that looks like I could pick. 
I used to go as just Brandon Roy, I think. Pink Callum. I could pick pink. Wilson Humphreys. I reckon we might give the kid a go, to be completely honest. I'm going to give Austin Office the call up and I will save my team. Don't want to click. Saved. Okay, good. It was 43,000 to spare. So, down back, I've got Harry Perryman, Connor Iden, James Sicily, Nick Dacos, Harry Sheasel, Connor O'Sullivan. Can't complain with that lineup. That is really strong. In the midfield, I've got Jai Clark, and I'll, I'll leave English as captain. I've got Jai Clark, Zach Butters, Sam Flanders, Elijah Sussis, oops, Harley Reid, Errol Gordon, Paddy Dow, and Isaac Cumming. In the rocks, I've got Tim English and Harry Conway. Can't complain that there's a good picks. Conway will be the most surprising ruckman, I reckon, when he gets, gets a bit of a go this year. A forward... It's an interesting one. Ben Keys. Who will get who will get like 80, 90. As a forward that's pretty he could get a hundred easily Keys. So he does play in the midfield. Brian Myers can also get that. Kay Chandler, who tell you will increase. Harrison Jones, I believe, can get good. Jordan Manor and Darcy Ben Jones. It's interesting. Because I did spend most of the money on the defenders and the midfielders, which are basically where most of the points come from most of the time. I can't complain, especially considering I've got two, three midfielders in the forward line, which is pretty good. On the bench, I've got Josh Gibkiss, who I believe his value can increase over time, and he could be inserted into that starting lineup, potentially. I could move Perryman, say, into the midfield. Like, I've got the options. Lawson Humphreys, he's just there, just in case. Zane Dersma and Kobe McKercher, who will definitely become guns. Nathan Kruger, Charlie Spargo, Tajwa Woden, and Bailey Laurie. I can't lie, this is a really good squad. Can I try? I don't think I can get it all in one picture, but that is a pretty good squad. I cannot lie, that is a really good squad. And I spent almost 20 minutes trying to pick this squad, but it is well worth it. That, I... That is a good squad. Like, I reckon it could, this squad could at least be a top 100 in the country. Uh, at least top 1,000 in the country, I reckon. My goal is to try and win something every year. I try to win something. But, yeah, as you can see here, 18 days till round one. I've got, I've got a few players playing in round zero, but this is my league will start in round one. I don't know what that means. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Come the cat is, um, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully try and get memberships fixed as well for you guys. And um, yeah, I'll work that out in the next few weeks. But I'll see you guys.